Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Let's see who do we have here. I know it's kind of difficult because of the rain. The weather is not so nice today. Well, tonight. So let, let's wait a little bit because I know there are some students, well, some participants that are coming. Jose, hello, good evening. Are you there? Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening, yes. yes. Uh, no problems um, traveling or moving from your job to your house? Uh, not, not at all, teacher. Not at all. Uh, usually, what time you finish your job? In... In my case, teacher, I don't have finished time basically because I am a seller man. So basically, it's like if I want, uh, I want to ask you this. Uh, where do you live, teacher? Well, I live near Planes de Renderos. Okay, then if I know that in that case, you want to buy internet services, I want to sell that in this moment. So... I, I don't have done finish time. Oh, okay, normally so five, 5 or 6 p.m. 5 or 6, but depends on your available, well, time available, right? If you want Some to people. move to another place, and depending on the time that you are free to do it, you can do it, right? Yeah, something, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like if someone call me right now, hey, I want to buy that, that I, I got there. Oh, okay. Sign the contract, that stuff, you know. Okay, nice. Kind of interesting, right? Because that depends on you, right? Depends on your time, and, and that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my friends, for sharing. Here we have also Guillermo. Good evening, Guillermo. Mm, good evening, teacher. Okay, Guillermo, uh, what time do you usually finish your job? At 5 p.m., 6 p.m., or something like that? No. Uh, usually, in my my chief in my work, around 2.30 p.m. And if I want, I, I do extra hours. Okay. Well, that's Until nice. Until 6 p.m. Well, that sounds nice, right? Because you have like a couple of hours in the afternoon, right? So? Yes. Sounds really good. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. What about Daniel? Hello, Daniel. Good evening. Hi, good evening. And we are talking about the time that we finish our schedule, our, our job, right? And what time do you usually finish your job? At 4 p.m., 5 p.m., or do you have a specific time? Uh, usually 4, 4, 30 p.m. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, kind of early, right? So you can move from your job to, to your house. Okay, thank you. Well, here we have also uh, Marita, Rosalie, Gustavo, Katia, Adi. Here we have John and Carlos Rivas. I know there are some participants that are they are going to connect uh, a little bit later because the rain is really heavy. I have seen some flus, algunos inund inundamientos, inundaciones in the center of San Salvador and in, in some other parts of the country. I know it's kind of difficult. Yeah, so well. We're going to wait a little bit. Uh, Gustavo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. Okay, nice. Gustavo, what time do you usually finish your job? I At... usually... Uh -huh. It's uh, 4, 4 and okay. 30. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, because if you finish at 4... Or five, you you have like two hours or something like that to move from your job to your house, right? 
There are some other people that they finish like 6 p.m. or 7. That's really difficult. Well, nowadays, traffic is really difficult. So thank you, uh, Gustavo. Well, the topic for tonight is how to use be going to. Uh, this is the grammar structure that uh, it is really useful and it is kind of practical. I consider it's practical. Okay. And uh, this is class number four. Okay. And uh, tomorrow we have class number five. Yeah. And finally, we're going to finish unit number one. So that's really possible. Right. Well, um, now that we have some other participants here, um, I'm going to, well, we have an speaking activity, right? Related to friends. But uh, here we have how many real friends have you got? ¿Cuántos amigos reales tienes? Okay. So um, we can say many, few. Okay. You can say three, four, five. Let's be clear. Let's be honest and sincere. Okay. We're going to write here in the chat how many friends you consider you have real friends. We're not talking about colleagues. We're not uh, talking about partners in the soccer team. And okay, it depends on the confidence you have, la confianza que se tiene. And we're not talking about money, lending money, ni tampoco estamos hablando de préstamos de dinero. Real friends in your life. In my opinion, I consider I have four real friends. What about you? Text in the chat soon, and we're going to see how many real friends you have. I'm going to wait for your answers here in the chat. Okay, let's check this. Um, Guillermo says four. Daniel, uh, two. Maritza, three. Carlos Rivas, one. And Katia, one. If you notice, if we compare the quantity or real friends that we had when we were teenagers, cuando éramos adolescentes or kids, we used to think that we have a lot of friends, right? Like seven friends, 10 friends, but with the time is passing by, cuando pasa el tiempo, maybe we consider that a real friend, it is not easy to find, right? Because we realize, nos damos cuenta, that people change or we discover real intention in people, okay? So thank you for uh, sharing uh, the quantity of friends that you consider you have real friends, Okay. And we're going to continue talking about friends uh, later. But now, here we have this. 
ways to express opinion. Um, yesterday, we were talking about inheritance, right? So uh, talking about inheritance is not easy, especially because we are talking about our real experience based on our real experience. And in the case you want to give your own opinion, you can use one of these phrases. And it is really important to know how to express your ideas, okay? So uh, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different forms to express opinions. I'm going to give you time if you want to take notes or to have screenshot, go ahead. So we're going to do something. Um, we can use these phrases to make an introduction before giving your opinion. For example, I'd say that yo diría que, or you can say I will say that. Number two, as I said, como lo veo, as I said, it's a difficult situation because blah, blah, blah. Number three, if you ask me, the problem is, or you can say, if you ask me, the solution is, if you ask me, the cause is, si me preguntan, el problema es, la causa es, and so on. And number four, in my opinion, that this is like the most common and very easy to use, in my opinion, uh, to my view, a mi forma de ver, to my view. In my point of view, it's one of my favorites. Desde mi punto de vista, in my point of view, um, plastic bags should be banned. Desde mi punto de vista, las bolsas de plástico deberían de ser eliminadas. It's just an example. Um, and the most common, la más común de todas es, I think that. Yo pienso que. I think that uh, school uniforms should be banned. Los uniformes escolares deberían de ser eliminados. Of course, it's just an example. So, uh, we're going to use one of these phrases just to pronounce them. Solo la vamos a pronunciar, okay? I'll say that. I will say that. As I see it, if you ask me, in my opinion, to my view, in my point of view, I think that, okay? I'm going to check the attendance list. Please, I need you to select one of the, these phrases. I know that we have maybe one favorite phrase. Tenemos quizás una frase favorita con respecto a eso, okay? So, let's see. Um, Adi Beatriz, I don't know if she's here or maybe she's, uh, she's here, a like, uh, listener. Maybe later I'm going to ask her. Ana Cristina. No. Okay. Uh, Elias. Do we have Elias here? Not yet. Okay. Um, what about Rivas? Present Thank teacher. You. Thank you, Rivas. Please read one of these phrases. To my view. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. Where I have it, I'm sorry. I'm looking for, I'm looking for this image.
Okay. I'm sorry. Let's see who else, uh, Claudia, are you here? Okay, maybe not. Um, what about uh, Daniel? Hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, my friend. Say my, your... ex my expression. Yeah, please. Uh, it's in my opinion. Thank you. Uh, David? Maybe not now, Doris. Okay, Evelyn. Um, Evelyn, are you there? Okay, maybe not. Graciela. Okay, um, Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Which is your uh, expression? Hello, Guillermo. Mm -hmm. Is in my opinion. Thank you, Jose Andres. I think that. Thank you. John, uh, well, John is listening, I guess. So we move to Katia. Hi, present uh, in my phone of view. Thank you, Katia. Perfect. Maritza, hi. To my view. Good. Marvin, I guess Marvin is not here. So, Noe, I don't see Noe here. Okay. Gustavo. Hi, Gustavo. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. My expression is in my point of view. Thank you. Uh, Oscar, do we have Oscar here? Maybe not. Rosalie is listener, I guess. And Susie not here. I guess Teresa is listener, I guess, also. Okay, Um, we're going to do something. Let's check this. We're going to, well, select one of these phrases, seleccionen una de estas frases, please. And, and we're going to say a very a short idea, for example, this. To my view. This is my idea. To my view, plastic bags should be banned. Okay? So I need you to select one of these expressions and mention one idea that you have. That idea can be real or not. You can look for internet right now or um, maybe a point of view that you have related to divorce, abortion, could it be animals, could it be legalization of something could it be about euthanasia pueden ser de cualquier tema que ustedes quieran text it hay que textearlo utilizando cualquiera de estas este, expresiones de introducción de opinión ok uh, you can look for internet I'm going to give you like two or three minutes to do it le doy dos o tres minutos ok hello hello good evening good evening no everything ok yeah but it was a big problem to connect with Zoom. Because of the signal or the weather? Both. Or both. <laughs> both. Yeah. Okay. I'm, well, 
hopefully you, you are here now. Okay, Noe, we are, if you notice in the chat, I uh, wrote uh, an idea about something, okay? Here we have okay. introductions, expressions to give your opinion. Whatever uh, idea that you have about whatever topic, okay? For example, you can talk about music, movies, uh, abortion, animals, okay? Uh, okay? If you want, okay, si okay. puedes, okay? No. Okay. Tú me dices si puedes, si no, relax. En el chat, entonces, verdad, espero sus ideas, okay? I'm going yeah, to better in the chat because I'm driving. No problem. So you can do it later. Okay. Don't worry. No. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay, uh, let's listen to some of your opinions. We're going to start with Marita and then Guillermo, please. Uh, we want to hear your points of view. Okay, Marita. I think that we should put the garbage in this place. Yeah, this place. I agree. Thank you. Noe, are you there? Yeah, yeah. I think you that you will be a good mechanic. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Good, good point. 
eh, Guillermo en Katia. Hey teacher, in my point of view, we should eh, recycle more garbage. Yeah, recycle, yeah, that's it. Eh, Katia en eh, Gustavo. Okay. In my point of view, you should reduce the working day. Yes, definitely. Gustavo and Daniel. I, th I think we should practice more English. Okay, definitely. Uh, Daniel and Jose. I say that it's very hot in San Miguel. Um, yeah, that's I would that we need save the world yeah definitely it is okay so um here we have different forms to say or to express ideas okay so take into account this because in the future speaking activities you're going to use them Remember, all of these uh, phrases, you can use them más adelante, okay? Um, let's move to this. Well, here we have tenses in English. Estas son las estructuras básicas, and I know you have studied most of them. For example, I'm pretty sure that you have studied the present. Sé que ustedes ya han estudiado el presente. Okay? Yeah, that's it. Present. I know you have studied the past. Simple past. And you have studied the simple future. Yeah. I don't have doubt about it. No tengo dudas con respecto a eso. Okay? So, um... We are going to study some other uh, grammar structures, ¿verdad? Ya tenemos el continuous, perfect, and uh, perfect continuous, ¿ok? Si se dan cuenta, en el continuous eh, sobresale el was, el am, um, will be, en el perfect, I had, en el pasado, have, will have, ¿ok? And so on. Okay. So I maybe you have some doubts about it. We're going to study it a little bit. Lo vamos a estudiar después en lo que se pueda, verdad? Sé que ya lo tienen bastante claro. So esto es solo para como un summary, como un pues como un resumen, una conclusión de lo que se estudi estudiaba hasta cierto punto. Tal vez me pueden decir en el chat cuáles eh, estructuras eh, gramaticales consideran que ustedes han estudiado. No sé si han estudiado anteriormente el, el continuous, el perfect. Sí, en los módulos 1, 2, 3, because this is number 4. Ok. Ustedes me dicen, o oh, me lo pueden decir eh, ah, por acá. A ver si me dice Daniel, ¿te recuerdas de uno? Guillermo, ¿te recuerdan de otros que han estudiado? Yes, yeah, the simple and uh, continuous. Okay, simple and continuous. Yes, uh, Guillermo. In continuous and and perfect. Yeah, maybe perfect, right? Okay, a little bit. Okay, and we're going to check it later. And I know you have studied also the pronouns. This is very important because here we have the subject and object pronouns. Tenemos los pronombres que son de, pues, prácticamente los... Sorry, se revisan algunos mensajes. Me van por acá. Ok. Um, for example, tenemos eh, los... Subject pronouns que van normalmente al inicio de las oraciones o son los sujetos. We have object pronouns que se refieren a los pronouns donde recae la acción. Los possessive adjectives. Y también tenemos los possessive pronouns. 
I guess you have an idea about what it means, de lo que se refiere todo este cuadro. También tenemos acá adjectives, adverbs, and verbs. Son los par las partes más importantes de las estructuras gramaticales y las que nosotros podemos, pues, este, identificar. Si ustedes pueden, si alguien puede mandar la captura de eso, pues creo que podría ser ba de bastante uso. Voy a poner ambas. Ok, so if you can send it, si la pueden enviar. Y de ahí voy a dejar un momento la otra para que tengan pues una idea de lo que son las, las partes de, de gramaticales, súper importantes. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, thank you, Maritza, for sending the other. Gracias por enviar la otra. Entonces ya tenemos acá. Solo please recorten ahí mi imagen. Please, please. Okay, we move now with... The first speaking activity. La primera... Speaking activity, okay. Si alguien tiene... Si quiere participar, levante la mano. Raise your hand. Ok. Ok, Noé. Has a friend ever laid you down? Tell the anecdote. Ok, can you tell us about it? Yeah, it was uh, uh, six years ago, but I have an ex friend I met work in my garage and she is all so much um, tools that I use to do my work, right? So that was my anecdote. Okay, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, tools are not cheap, right, No, I are kind of expensive. Yeah, too much. <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, that is something that is very common. You learn something, presto salios, you learn something and that thing or some objects never return. That's really sad and disappointing. Okay, thank you, Noe, for sharing. Yeah, it usually happens, especially okay. for tools. Thank you, Noe. Good, good point. Uh, who else? Let's see who else. If not, I can select some of you to participate. That uh, can be really interesting to know of your anecdotes. Maybe we can have um, Guillermo and then Katia. Yes, it's true. Yeah, you have one anecdote. Okay. Uh, yes, when I was a kid, I tell to my best friend, Andres, some important things in my life. But it was a little bit uncomfortable if anyone else knew because I had fear of being judged. Okay. And he tell to to others, and I feel really bad. <laughs> yeah, know. that's something uncomfortable, disgusting. That was a bad, a really bad time, right, Guillermo? Yeah, because you have confidence. Maybe they're not top secrets, but something that you don't talk to anybody else, right? Yes. So thank you, thank you, Guillermo, for sharing that. And that's very common, especially when we are kids or teenagers. Okay, Katia and Daniel. Uh, okay. Um, no, really, I don't have any anecdotes. Okay, no. Uh, I don't have many friends. <laughs> yeah, but no bad experience no negative experience about having friends no oh good no. for you yeah you're very lucky very lucky yes. because we have always like one person that we consider friend and that person like makes something really really bad to us okay thank you katia what about daniel do you have some anecdote daniel 
Hi. Um, I will say that um, a few. I I have a few two friends, and I believe in that friends are the ones who are throw think and think. Yeah, that's it. And as you mentioned, we don't have like real friends or too many real friends. So that's why we take care or we, we are not, we try to prevent negative things. But have you ever had a bad experience with friends? Alguna mala experiencia con amigos? Sorry. Eh, ¿Has tenido una mala experiencia? Bad experience with friends? Not really. Not really. Okay, good. But as you mentioned, a few friends similar to Katia. Okay, very nice. Well, uh, we're going to have some practice. Vamos a tener algo de práctica. Yesterday, we had this uh, short conversation that we didn't finish. No terminamos esta, este, esta conversación, okay? So, here we have letter A and letter B, okay? We're going to practice two conversations. Number one is this. Let's see. It says like this. This is it. It was nice talking to you, not talking, talking to you. Why are you trying to rush me off the phone? I really had to go. Why? I'm, I still wanted to talk to you. I have things to do. Like what? Don't be nosy. I'm not. I just want to know. Well, it's really none of your business. That's harsh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Fine. When a person is trying to finish a conversation and the other person wants to continue talking, ¿verdad? Cuando alguien quiere terminar la conversación y alguien más quiere seguir hablando. Okay, so, uh, maybe the words that are new or kind of difficult, yeah, I always make emphasis on talking. Teacher. Rush. Sorry. Yes. What is the meaning of nosy? Nosy es como una persona que está insistiendo, una persona que está siempre um, presionándote. Yeah, don't okay, be nosy. Right. Yeah, that's it. So, por eso le dice que quiere, he wants or she wants to continue talking the other. Okay, come on, bye bye. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, so talking, rush, and nosy. Como nariz, nose, perdón, nosy. Okay. I guess we have already this conversation, right? But we go with the, the other one. It is the similar thematic, la misma temática. Tratando de finalizar la conversación. I've, I've enjoyed conversing with you. Is there a reason why you are trying to get out the phone so fast? I've got to go. I wasn't done talking to you. I have to do some things. And besides, it's not polite to be nosy. I'm not being nosy. I'm just asking. Really? Don't think it's any of your business. That's not nice. I apologize. But I'm getting off the phone now. Okay. Quizás esta la, la, la línea más larga. Is there a reason why you're trying to get off the phone so fast? Suena como traba lenguas, ¿verdad? Igual está. I have to do some things. And besides, it's not polite to be nosy. Maybe uh, anybody can help us. Alguien nos puede ayudar enviando esta screenshot. I'm going to show you the first one. Igualmente, les muestro la primera. Maybe Maritza or Jose can help us with conversation number one. And then we go with conversation number two. Okay, teacher, who is start? Yeah, I know. No, no, I mean, can you send maybe later? But here, maybe if you can send the, the screenshot, but Maritza did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, you're relaxed. Maritza, could you send the conversation number two, please? If you don't mind.
Thank you, Maritza. Okay. I'm going to organize groups. Just give me a couple of seconds. Pueden practicar un poquito antes, antes de que los envíe a los grupos, okay? Okay, see you in a moment, my friends.
Okay, um, we are waiting for the others. Maybe we can have some participations. Um, Guillermo, who was your classmate? With the one you were you were practicing. It was Katia. Katia, Katia, como que no, aquí estoy. Okay, Katia, please. Could you help me with conversation number one? Okay. It was nice talking to you. Why, why are you trying to rush me off the phone? I really have to go. Why? I still want to talk to you. I have things to do. Why? What? Don't be noise. I'm not. I just want to know. Well, this really now of your bus busy business work. Business. business, sorry. That's harsh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Fine. Okay, thank you. Good done. We have conversation number two. Maritza, could you help us, please? Who was your uh, partner? Gustavo. Okay, uh, Maritza and Gustavo, please. Number two. I okay. enjoy conversing with you. Is there a reason why you're still to get off the phone? I go. I go. I I was done talking to you. I have to do something and decide besides. It's not polite to be nosy. I know very no noisy. I I using asking. I really don't think it's any of your business. That uh, no night. I apologize, but I'm getting off the phone now. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Good. I apologize as me disculpo. I apologize. Okay. And uh, good. We continue with some activities that we have for the class of tonight. And here we have this. And in this, we have the information in the following shipping label, que es la etiqueta de envío. Shipping label. Okay, so here we have uh, this conversation. Uh, I'm sorry, this information, and I need you to help me read it. And we're going to start in this case with um, Jose. Please uh, help me by reading a uh, part of this information. Could you, this part that is marked, <clears throat> parte marcada, please. Okay. From Travers. I'm gonna try. Yeah, please. Okay, um, from Travers Inc. 23, Glenway, San Carlos, California, 0570, made in USA. Thank you very much. Okay. Here we have Daniel, please. Um, next, the information that is marked. Two. Literal word. Mm, number. number. Number 34, La Unión El Salvador. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And we have here uh, like a series of numbers. Maybe we can have the participation of Guillermo. Please help me read this number, this code. It is zero zero one two zero one three four two three three uh, zero one zero 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 four three two three two three thank you even if it sounds like a repetition it is better to read like guillermo did one by one in case you we don't have difficulties uh, by checking this okay 
Here we have uh, Rosalie. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Please help me reading this tracking number. Uh, I'm sorry, activate the audio, please, Rosalie. <laughs> sorry, tracking sorry. number. Number zero zero one two one. No, zero zero one two zero one three four two three three. Thank you. Okay, and here we have some other information. For example, a quantity. Here we have the quantity uh, six, 65 units. Shipment uh, 784. Sender, the call sender, el código de, 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 de la persona que envía. AB 67H. Here we have this code. Maybe we, we can have the participation of Katia. Could you help me please with this, Katia? This mark, if Katia is not available, maybe Gustavo can help us. Zero one. Okay, zero one, zero, 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 four, three, two, three, two, two, three. Thank you very much. And here we have also uh, MFG date, okay? And new WT, okay? That is the weight, is el peso, okay? 120 pounds. So and here we have some questions. Tenemos unas preguntas con respecto related to this information. And here we have, um, one, two, three, and four. Maybe you can help us. Daniel, could you select one of these questions and we're going to answer. I'm going to present the information again so we can complete these uh, questions. Select one. What number? Well, the number one. Uh -huh. What is the shipping? address okay let's move and let's see what is the shipping address look for it in this which one do you consider la dirección de envío a quien crees que se le va a enviar who do you consider um uh from significa de el punto de partida to el destino uh, literal words observe yeah. the number 34 thank you yeah that the one that you read like laser me parece okay thank you we go with number two and maybe we can have uh, jose Or three, uh, four. Depends on you. Which one? Maybe I think because it's the first time that I see mailing um, California teacher. <clears throat> yeah. Mailing address from. Okay. Yes. Mailing address. Okay. Yeah. San Carlos, California. Right. Okay. Good. Let's move now with Maritza. Could you help us with three or four? Three. Okay. How, How many, many units are in the package? package? Okay. Okay. Package. Package. How package. many units? Quantas unidades? How many units do you consider we have in the package? Uh, 65 units. Yeah, 65 units. That's it. Thank you. And Guillermo, can you help us with number four? What is the manufacturing day? You can put the image. Of course, you can you have it. Please. Mm, it's it's April twelfth of two thousand thirteen. 
Perfect, Guillermo. Thank you. Yes, it's because it is letter by letter here. M F G. Okay. Thank you. Um. Thank you. We move now with the other part of speaking activity. Has a friend ever let you down? Alguna vez algún amigo te ha dejado, pues. Perder, como decimos nosotros, te ha dejado caer. Well, maybe we can have some other points of view. We have here. What about Rivas? Are you there, Rivas? Hey, teacher. Are you ready for this? Has a friend ever let you down? In yes. my opinion. In my opinion, friends are there to help each other. And in my case, my friend has supported me and have not disappointed. Very nice, Riva. You have very good friends because they always yes. support you, right? Never let you down. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. What about Rosalie? We can have Rosalie and then Maritza. Um, I think that once my friend became friends with my current partner or my ex-boyfriend. Okay, it happened, uh, well, a lot of years ago. Pasó hace varios años, a lot of years. Um, three, three years. Oh, okay. um, because but uh, always are friends. Okay, okay, yeah, it, it usually happens. So when it's recent, maybe sometimes we have that keeping in mind que a veces lo mantenemos como esa idea. So thank you, uh, Rosalie. Here we have also Maritza, please. What about you? Uh, no, teacher. Never let me down. Okay, very nice. Never let you down. Thank you. Jose Andres, what about you, my friend? Any opinion about this? In my opinion, teacher, maybe some years ago, maybe in some cases, they let me down and I did it also. So it's like 50 feet in some cases. Okay, it was like kind of justice. Like uh, basically teacher like uh, issues money or things like that, right? Or another situations that you need to pay. Okay, so it happens, yeah. That's something kind of difficult because right, money... when, when they lend it or borrow something. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, and sometimes it maybe can be a maybe a small quantity or a big quantity, but the detail or we or, fall, or we fall. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing, my friend. And here we have this. Also, let's move to the worksheet about have got. And uh, you remember yesterday we were studying this have got or has got. Okay. We don't have problems with this because this is kind of easy. We have the negative form of haven't got or hasn't got. Okay. I guess we don't have difficulties with this or do we? Tenemos dificultades con eso because we're going to have screen, uh, a worksheet. Vamos a trabajar con una hoja de ejercicios. Well, affirmative and negative. Now, yesterday, uh, somebody told me if we were about to study questions or interrogative. Entonces, las preguntas son básicamente, they are basically affirmations, but we have to move have or has at the beginning. Miren, como vemos acá, es como que similar if we move the word have and the word has at the beginning. Como que si las moviéramos esas palabras al inicio. 
Okay. Have you got? Has he got? Has she got? Have we got? Y la respuesta es bien obvia. Yes, you have. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, he has. Uh, yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Okay. No problem with this. Yep. So, now that we have, creo que esta, sí, esa creo que ya la tienen también, ¿verdad? Ya tienen esta imagen. So, si gustan pueden mandar esa imagen, Maritza, if you don't mind, si no te molesta, please, me haces el, or the favor, please. La de la pregunta. Okay, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's move to the worksheet. Tenemos acá entonces. Vamos a trabajar con las preguntas y las respuestas, ¿ok? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Les doy un par de segundos para que eh, veamos cuáles podemos completar. And then you tell me which one you want to complete. Okay, Guillermo, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, you tell me. Uh, the first one, uh, have you have you got any show, children? Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have any idea about the answer? La respuesta consideras que la tienes, Guillermo, también acá. Have you got any children? Let me see. Yes, I. Yes, I have. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, I be God. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm... I be I be got two sons and a daughter. Thank you. Yes. I've got yeah. Like this. Yes, I've got two sons and a daughter. Thank you very much. Maybe Katya. And then we go with Maritza. Come on, Katya, you can do it. Okay. And number two, have your brother. There's got uh, uh, some. Ok, yeah. Sería got porque somos de tu hermano, ok? No, he, como estamos hablando de él, ajá, no, he. Ah, sorry, yes. Sí, es que se confunde. It's uh, like no. confusing. Yes. Mm, no hasn't. Yes, very no. nice. No, uh huh. No, he hasn't, right? Let's see. Uh -huh. No, he mm -hmm. hasn't. He has got three towers. Thank you. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, si quieren lo ponemos aquí para que no tengamos problemas. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, uh, we go with Maritza and then Rosali. Have Maritza. you? Mm -hmm. mm. 
Have you and in sister? Y la palabra que siempre va. No. That. Yeah. yeah. A brother? No, we. We haven't. Okay. Yes, no, we haven't. We have. Yes, we've. Uh -huh. We have got. Have got. Mm -hmm. I've got it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, maybe we can have now uh, Jose. If you can help me, please. And then we go with Gustavo. Go with Gustavo. How your daughter got a partner. Okay, como estamos, we are okay. talking about third person. We are talking about third person. Uh, yeah. Yes, she. Yes, she. Yes, she has. Then. Then. She got a partner. Okay. I've got a partner. She has got a partner. Okay, thank you. What about Gustavo, please? Have, have your parents? Mm -hmm. Got any grandchildren? Children? Okay, yes. Yes, they have. Thank you. Now they haven't had him. They have. Yeah. They have got, yeah, grandson. Thank you. Yeah, we complete this. Now let's move, my friends. And here we have this. As a friend, I will let you down. Here we have some others. Maybe we can have the participations of, let's see, Jose is done. Gustavo, you have any any opinion about this? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. And then uh, John, if he can. Okay, please, Gustavo. Okay. A very special, special day for me. It was a, a Saturday, the, the, the day of my wedding. Everything was prepared. His place was there in front because he was part of my family, but my best friend did not attend. I was the disabled. Disappointed. Ah, disappointed. Okay. So, um, when did it happen? ¿Cuándo pasó eso? A lot of years ago, muchos años atrás. One year, two years. Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh. Okay, thank you. Well, um, fueron cu hace cuántos años? One year, two years, three years ago. Uh, Aproximadamente. Eh, aproximadamente con approximately approximately three years okay three okay it's kind of recent thank you Gustavo thank you very much okay, okay. we continue okay. John I guess it's not available and the others already told me right John maybe when you're available do you tell me well let's move to the main topic of tonight and here we have this positive and negative about how to use be going to a very very easy topic i consider because we don't have to complicate too much no nos vamos a complicar mucho okay um here we have this maybe we can have the participation noe could you help me please reading uh the first two sentences please read this mm -hmm. i'm going if you information 
the airline is going to turn for the ship. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes. So if you notice, I'm going to, right? And number two, the airline is going to. Yeah. Aquí tenemos los verbos in infinitive form. So we don't change the verb. No cambiamos el verb. Okay. Thank you. What about if we listen uh, Rosalie with uh, the other three? Your packages. Your packages. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the packages going to arrive? Who is going to deliver it? Yes, thank you. So your packages are going. Where is the package going to? Who is going to? Entonces la clave siempre es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Am, is, are, y el going to. Simple as that. And we have negatives also. Uh, I will need uh, Maritza, please. Could you read the negative? The three. I am not. I am not going to give you the information. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, next, the airline. The airline isn't going to transport the shipping. Yes. Your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Maritza. So, something uh, to emphasize is singular and plural. The airline isn't, la aerolínea, ¿verdad? Con is o isn't. Packages como es plural, aren't, are or aren't, okay? So, um, questions about this, preguntas. I guess we, you have already started this, quizás ya lo habían estudiado. En otros módulos. Module, that's module. Okay. That's perfect. So, maybe we can complete this. And here we have, put the words in order, then answer the questions. Vamos a ponerlas en orden y luego a eh, responder. We're going to answer this because they are questions, okay? Remember that in case eh, we have questions, always we have to start with eh, verb B. Siempre la vamos a comenzar con el verbo to be, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para completarlas. Okay, uh, you tell me, do we have volunteers, ideas? Where are you going to the package? Okay, what number? I'm sorry, uh, number one, right? Yeah, number one, where are you going to pick up to the to, to the? Yeah, pack? perfect. Are they going mm -hmm. to? Thank you. Where are they going to pick up the package? Okay. And uh, that's it. Where are they going? Okay. And let's see here. Who else? Uh, Noe, number two or three? Number two. Yeah. Who is going to receive the shipping? Perfect. No problem with this, right? Kind of easy. Thank you. And what about okay. number three? Once you do it, it's kind of easy, right? 
maybe we can have the participation of easy katia no you're katia don't cry please katia when hey, man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when is going to arrive the new material uh-huh okay when is i'm sorry okay going to arrive the mm -hmm. new material yeah here we have, where are they going to pick up the package? Who is going to receive the shipping? And when uh, is going to arrive the new material? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's move to this. Similar to this, right? Les tengo otras. But this one, solo vamos a hacer una y de ahí nos vamos a otra actividad, ¿ok? Eh, is going to. La palabra to la vamos a, ¿cómo se llama? La vamos a eliminar, ¿ok? El to es solo para un infinitive. La palabra tú no la vamos a utilizar, ¿ok? Maybe we can have Daniel, one of these, and then Rosalie. Eh, they are affirmative, son afirmativas, ¿ok? So, no problem with this. From one to five. Remember, is going to, are going to, ¿ok? He is my, he is my... Okay. ¿Qué vamos a agregar? Vamos a agregar el is going to. O le vamos a agregar el are going to. Uh -huh. Con he, ¿cuál sería? Is o sería are? What do you think? Is. Ajá, is going to. And we're going to use the verb in the parenthesis. He's going to. Mm -hmm. He's going to phone his friend. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Uh, Rosalie, and then we go with we are, Noe. We are going to play a new computer game. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Really easy, right? We're going to play a new computer game. Okay, Noé and then Guillermo. My sister is going to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch TV. Okay, Guillermo, what about you? And then Rivas. You are going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have. Thank you. Uh, Rivas, can you help us with Jane? That's number five. James is going to go to the office. Yeah, thank you. Jane is going to go to the office. Yeah. Notice, simple. If we want to make it negative, si las queremos hacer negativas, we simply add the word not. Le agregamos la palabra not. Donde después del verbo to be. He is not going to. We are not. My sister is not. You are not. Jane is not. Okay? Simple as that. Don't complicate yourself. Now, uh, we're going to continue later with some other exercises. But in this case, we're going to have a speaking activity. What we're going to do here. Um, here we have this... Uh, Here we have this chart. So look the these time words. Some use in, some use on, and some use at. We have three categories. Three categories: in, on, at. Look at this. Put them in the correct column. In a 
columna correcta. In March, on Saturday, at 4 o'clock. Okay, here we have some other phrases. I need you to work in pairs and try to select the correct column for these phrases. Okay, so pónganlas en la columna correcta. In, on, at. I know it's confusing. A veces es un tanto confuso. In, on, at, but here we have example. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo. In March, on Saturday, at four o'clock. Eh, Maritza, if you don't mind, te voy a molestar de nuevo. One more time, please. Send in this picture. Creo que sí se puede ver bien. Si no, I'm going to... Voy a ser un poquito más grande. Creo que sí se puede ver, right? Creo que sí se lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have problems with this, okay? When we come back, cuando regresemos, vamos a hacer algunas oraciones usando el going to, okay? O, con, o cualquier, este, ¿cómo se llama? Estructura gramatical. See you in a couple of seconds. Let's work in person, trabajar en equipos. O sea, no sé si te llegó. I don't know if you got the request. Te llegó la solicitud. If not, you tell me.
Hola, Adi. Hello there. Hi, teacher. Ya me pude conectar de nuevo. ¿Qué pasó? Complicado, ¿verdad? Eso. Sí, es que no estoy en casa, teacher. Entonces estoy desde el celular y sí me ha dado problemas el celular. No es como estar desde la compu. I know. It's kind of, it usually happens. Pasa y, y bueno. Eh, ya casi regresamos de, de, la, de esta actividad, ¿ok? Si usas, ¿Vas a estar de listening? ¿De, de okay. oyente? ¿O vas a participar? Yes, teacher, de... yes. Ah, ok. Bueno, de todos modos ya casi terminamos, ¿ok? Adi. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you to you. Okay, uh, we're going to check this. I need you to, everybody uh, makes one sentence. Me va a hacer cada uno una oración utilizando esto. Por ejemplo, se dan cuenta acá, dice de la siguiente manera. I'm leaving in March on Saturday at four o'clock. Puede ser que en lugar de I'm leaving, puede ser I am going to work. In March, on Saturday, at four o'clock, okay? 
it's just an example. Puede ser el going to, it can be in present, it can be in past, puede ser en pasado, okay? Um, any sentence that you comes to your mind, cualquier oración que venga a su mente, okay? It can be in present, in past, in the future, okay? Uh, I guess some of these words can be can be applied for going to. Okay, I'm going to stand this. Okay, this is the example. I'm going to wait for the others. Examples, please. And then we move to the last two activities and we finish the class. Those activities must took more activities and we finish this class. So let's see what do we have. I know there are some interesting words, for example, in the morning, Friday, midnight, autumn, Wednesday evening, March 1st, September, Tuesday morning. Okay. 10, 14. Okay. Yeah. One, any sentence that comes to your mind. Cualquier oración que venga. Su mente ya no es, tire, ya lo hizo no es. Let's wait for the others. Esperamos por los demás. Create what, one sentence. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Noé, could you read yours, please? And then we move with Guillermo. Okay, I'm going to the party at midnight with my friends. Okay, nice, nice example. Guillermo, please, and then we go with Daniel. I am going to travel to Colombia in September. Yeah, that's nice. And let's listen to Daniel. I am going, okay? I'm going, yes. I'm going to job at a quarter past 12. At quarter past 12, okay? That's it. Thank you. Very nice. Let's see here. I don't know if Maritza is ready, Rosalie, Gustavo. What about you? Me, teacher. Okay, please. I am going to go in Christmas to house my parents. Yeah, I like that, sounds really good. Uh, Maritza, Katia, how about you? Ah, here we have Jose. Okay, Jose, could you read yours, please? Okay, I will go to work on Sunday at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's very specific. Thank you. Okay. And we're going to have a listening part and then some exercises and we finish. What about Maritza? Could you read yours? I will. I will arrive from work tomorrow on Friday at 5.30. Thank you very much. Uh, what about Katia? I'm going to present my final exam in March at 2.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we have like nine, we have nine minutes, nine minutes. We are going to 
listen an audio, please try to take notes or pay attention. Then you tell me the words, phrases, or ideas that you listen. We're going to listen to times. Okay, here we go. The girl in this photo is my mother. She was only one year old at the time, maybe a little more. The woman with her isn't her mother, but her mother's sister, Matilda. Matilda never had any children. She never got married, but she was always very close to my mother and they're together in many pictures. A lot of people think she's my mother's mother. The photo was taken in 1930s in California, where Matilda lived. California in 1930s was old country and fields. You can see the woods in the background. It was near Hollywood. I went there to that house when I was very young. I remember it. Now it's just another suburb of another city. My brother still has that old car. He loves vintage cars and cleans it every month. I think this is my favorite photo of my mother when she was a child. It's from another world. Okay, let's listen one more time. The girl in this photo is my mother. She was only one year old at the time, maybe a little more. The woman with her isn't her mother, but her mother's sister, Matilda. Matilda never had any children. She never got married, but she was always very close to my mother and they're together in many pictures. A lot of people think she's my mother's mother. The photo was taken in 1930s in California, where Matilda lived. California in 1930s was old country and fields. You can see the woods in the background. It was near Hollywood. I went there to that house when I was very young. I remember it. Now it's just another suburb of another city. My brother still has that old car. He loves vintage cars and cleans it every month. I think this is my favorite photo of my mother when she was a child. It's from another world. Okay, let's listen to some of your participations. We're going to start with um, Noe. Okay, tell me, what did you listen? Mm, a lot of things. The thing in this photo is my mother. Matilda never had any children. She never had married. The photo was taken in 1940 in California. And her brother loves vintage car. Wow, no, a lot of information. Thank you. Very good. What about uh, another? Let's listen. Maybe we can have. I know Marita has more information, right? Marita and Marita Are you serious? Okay, Marita, and then we go with Daniel. Uh, Matilda never have a children. Matilda lives in California. I think my favorite photo. Okay. Yeah. I think it's my favorite photo. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, Daniel, and then we go with Katia. Sorry, I, I didn't listen well. Oh, you couldn't listen well. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Katia and Rosalie. Um, was thinking... I don't, remember, I don't remember, in California where Matilda lived. It was always in the background. It was near, near Hollywood. And my brother still has that old cars. He loves vintage cars and cleaner every month. Okay, very nice. Good, good. Okay, and let's listen to... Rosalie, right? And then Guillermo. Yes. Yes. Um, her sister is Matilda. And Matilda never has a children. And Matilda likes California. And my brother still has, I don't remember, the word the star. Only. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. What about Guillermo? Did you have more information, Guillermo? No, the same information that Rosalie. Okay, the, the same information. Okay, yeah, that's it. Remember that the complete audio is kind of 
uh, difficult sometimes to get all the information, but maybe the, the main parts, the most important. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Now we did this affirmative. Let's listen to some negative. Ya hicimos estas afirmativas, verdad? Daniel, what about you? You can select number one, the one that you completed, or some other. But it's negative. You have to add not. I can regalar la palabra not to this. Okay, to these sentences. Do you want number one? ¿Quieres la número uno que habías hecho? ¿O quieres otra? Tú me dices. Y la number one. Ok. Y más sería. Aquí sería con el going to. Uh -huh. He is. Y para hacer la negativa. For negative. Sería. Hasn't. Casi, casi. Ok. Um, in this case, como estamos con el going to, el hasn't ya no lo utilizaríamos. Sé que es otra estructura, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a utilizar el going to, que básicamente es esta. Sería esta. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Isn't going to, I'm going to, are going to. Vamos a utilizar, entonces utilizaremos esta, isn't. ¿Ok? So, what do you think? He is not going to fun. Okay. Uh, what about Noé? Let's make this negatives. Vamos a hacer las negativas, Noé. And then Guillermo. Okay, number two. Yeah. We're not. Uh -huh. no, we are We're not going to. We are not going to play a new computer game. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Guillermo and Katia. My sister is not going to watch TV. Yeah. Thank you. It's not going to watch TV. Okay. Katia and Maritza. Yeah, you aren't going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. And Maritza, please. Jan is not going to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the office. Yeah, thank you. We're going to continue with this. Tomorrow, vamos a continuar con esto mañana, ok? I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. Sé que se conectaron pocos, maybe because we have some difficulties with the weather and the rain. It was very, but very heavy. Ok, Adi, I know you are there, right? Te conectaste ya de último por otras dificultades, so thank you. Ana Cristina, uh, listener. Carlos, Elias, well, sorry, Rivas. Yes, right, Rivas? Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia, I guess, no. Uh, Daniel, yes, right, Daniel? Present. Thank you, David, no. Doris, I didn't see. Evelyn, no. Graciela. Okay, Guillermo, yes, right, Guillermo? Yes, sir, present. Thank, thank you. Uh, Jose? Yes, teacher, present. Thank you, John. Katia, Maritza. Present. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Uh, Marvin, no. Okay, thank you. Noé. Thank you. Also. Yeah, I'm here. Good thank night, you, teacher. Gustavo. And thanks for all. Okay. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you, Oscar. No, Rosali. Yes, right. And Teresa. Yes, Alice. present. Good night. You, my friends. Se queda Daniel para la sesión uno a uno. Okay. See you, my friends. Have a good night. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Daniel, ¿verdad que nos habíamos quedado con la sesión, verdad? Uno a uno. No, todavía no, no, no. No, no verdad. Bien, vamos con esta. Ok, Daniel. Eh, vamos a ver. Hay este, preguntas. Do we have questions, difficulties? 
¿Hay algún tema que te gustaría que revisáramos? ¿O vocabulario? ¿Conversación? No, ¿Qué has pues por el momento estaba teniendo dificultad con lo que es el audio. Eh, pues eh, creo que voy a tener que comprar un audio ¿no? porque los audios me toca acercar la computadora para escuchar bien, por eso fue que no le escuché bien ahora. El audio estaba bien bajito. Ah, Pero sí. voy a comprar unos audífonos para escuchar mejor. Porque Fíjate que... yo siento que se me dificulta, en lo personal, se me dificulta más que todo entender eh, a oído. Porque a lectura yo siento que se me hace más fácil. No hay no problema si con lectura. Tengo... Ok. Ah, tengo un consejo. Pero... Ok, muy bien. Entonces, este... Sí, porque en el audio, cuando tú participas, no hay dificultad, pero sí es importante el, el tema del listening, porque si te das cuenta, yo pido bastante participación. Entonces, constantemente les estoy pidiendo que participen. Sí. Entonces, sí, te recomendaría unos audífonos. Este, te van a ayudar bastante. Quizás para el tema del listening, te recomiendo que sí, vea ciertos videos, pueden ser de comedia, pueden ser videos eh, respecto a, a caricaturas, lo que tú quieras, pero véalos con subtítulos en inglés. Otra cosa que puedes hacer es, son videos, por ejemplo, no sé si has visto uh, videos de TED, TED.com, TED.com, en YouTube están, son, son como como talks, short talks, sí. ¿verdad? So, 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 son como discursos, pláticas, entonces, eh, todo eso creo que te puede ayudar, porque tienes vocabulario, participas, tu pronunciación es bastante buena, Daniel, pero sí, quizás en el listening te, te estás quedando un poquito con respecto a las indicaciones, pero creo que es por el tema de que no has captado bien por, por, por si sí el audio, entonces, si te pueden prestar audífonos, eh, o si puedes adquirirlos, creo que te ayudaría bastante, pero mucho, mucho, ¿verdad? De ahí sí. el resto. Y lo que te recomiendo, este, Daniel, es que practiques este, el vocabulario que les estoy dando. Si te das cuenta, eh, cada, en cada inicio de, de clase, para pasar lista, les estoy dando vocabulario. Frases o palabras. Algunas de esas ustedes ya las conocen, otras, sí. ¿no? ¿Verdad? Pero eso está haciendo que aunque ustedes estén en el nivel básico, aunque ya nivel 4 ya es más avanzado, ¿verdad? Pero están en el nivel básico, si ustedes utilizan esas frases, incluso pueden sonar mejor que alguien de intermedio. ¿Ok? Entonces, ese es el punto, ¿verdad? Creo que tienen bastante potencial, Daniel, y, y, y me alegra que, que estés haciendo pues el esfuerzo. Sé que no es fácil, ¿verdad? Es, es estar en clases acá, pero pues eso sería por el momento. ¿Verdad? Este, no sé si tienes otra duda o problemas con la plataforma. ¿Pudiste, verdad, acceder y todo eso? Sí, todo bien, todo bien. Ok, todo bien. excelente. Ok, Daniel, bueno, si no tienes otra pregunta, otra inquietud, pues eh, creo que eso sería, ¿verdad? Simplemente dale un repaso a, los, a, la, a las imágenes que, que están mandando, ¿verdad?, eh, Voy a enviar los audios también. Espero mañana tener más tiempo porque voy a enviar los audios con las, con las ¿cómo se llama? Con las imágenes, con el, el texto, porque sí me estaban diciendo que se los mandara. Es como que, me está, fíjate que ningún grupo me había pedido, pero si, si ustedes lo necesitan, creo que les puede servir para práctica. Escúchenlos. Sí, sí. Intenta practicarlos. Eso ayuda bastante. ¿Ok, Daniel? Perfecto. Eso, eso sería. Ok, pasa buenas noches, entonces. Have a good night, my friend. Okay. Bye bye.